Hello out there. I want to show you this Eastman 810, AR810CE that I just acquired. It's in beautiful shape. This is the flagship, or one of them anyways, so getting close to the flagship. I mean, uh, it's a 17 inch body, solid woods, maple sides of back, solid spruce, and uh, floating pickup. It's a lot like a Johnny Smith is what it kind of reminds me of. And uh, man, it's a beautiful guitar. And these guitars, um, I don't know what the deal is, but they're not catching on. I, they should be. And they should be going for a lot more money than they are. But hey, that's your gain. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, f really fun guitar to play. Uh, solid spruce top. It's a one and three quarter inch nut width. Uh, it's got all the pretty binding all over the place. Um, I'll, we'll show you in a minute. Let's do a little more playing with it. How about uh, let's do some single note lines. Now, you, you know, now I've actually um, rolled up the bass, turned down the treble a hair. Mid-range is up a tad. Uh, it's got a volume control right here and a tone control right here. So here's the tone control pretty much all the way off. And then then it, you bring it on. So anyway. I have the action pretty low on this. Um, probably had to raise it up 
just a tad. So I have my light gauge low end and heavy gauge on the top. Let's go close up and take a quick look at this. You know, uh, the pictures that I posted, um, whoops, I got a, got a little mark there. Um, some of them, it looks like there's like, like uh, little nicks, but a lot of it is just glare. So, uh, but you know what, we're getting super close, so good grief. Now that you see that yellow in, I don't know if you're seeing it, it looks like a real yellow sunburst in the picture, but it really isn't. Now this guitar, it's more of an orange. So my cameras aren't color coordinated very good. Ebony fretboard, ebony pickguard, ebony uh, tailpiece. Oh, see that smudge there? What is that? Wait a minute now. Let's take a look at that. Where'd it go? Yeah, see, some of that is smudge. I didn't wipe it off very good. And here is this. Oh, that, here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold everything. There, it's coming off. And you know what? So. Sorry, I didn't do as, I, I cleaned it up uh, quite a while ago. It's been sitting around. I haven't done anything with it just cause I'm the holidays and I'm lazy and, but this is the flagship, um, you know, or one of the flagships of Eastman. Solid, all solid woods, beautiful shape. You know, it's 17 inch. Take a look at this. Light, it's very light. You don't have a big humbucker hanging off it. They've gone to a humbucker now, mounted I believe. Three piece neck, but it's floating. It's got a beautiful sound, I think. Um, anyway, I'm offering this up to one, any my students who might want it. It's got a lot of sustain uh, for a guitar that's so light. Let's see. Anyway, there it is. Um, these are fun to play. You know, the pickup, it's kind of astounding. A lot of times I, I've played these, not this guitar, but uh, Johnny Smith, and I feel like the treble pickup isn't loud enough. You know, the treble side needs to come up. I don't have that problem with this. I think the top end is just perfect. Let's hear some octaves with this, shall we? Okay, then anyway, there it is, a Eastman AR. I mean, it's a lot of money, a lot of guitar for the money. Uh, it, it just really is, it's crazy. This one's in pretty nice shape. I forget what year it is, uh, but does it really matter? Um, they make them uh, very consistent, so wouldn't worry about it. If you're interested, please give me a call. I'll talk at you later. Mm -hmm.